In this quick tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can move your photos to iCloud so you can recover free storage for your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch. To get started, I'll go to Settings on my iOS device and I'll scroll till I find iCloud. Make sure you sign in your iCloud. Here, I'll go to Backup, tap on the Backup, and iCloud Backup is activated and I need to click on Backup now. This will take all the data on my device and back it up to the iCloud servers so that everything could be safe while I'm trying to work on the photos, either compressing or deleting them later on. I'll wait until this is completed and then go to the next step. Now the backup is complete and I'm going to run my iMyPhone UMate Pro and on the main screen I'll go to the button that says photos, click on that. It will scan my device for all the photos that are available. Let it some time to run here. Here I'm presented with two options, either backup and compress. And what this option will do is that it will compress the photos, but still keep them on my iDevice. So it would just save me a lot of space. The second option is backup and delete. And what this will do is that it will remove the photos from my device but keeps them backed up on my PC so nothing gets lost. And of course this will save a lot more space. I'll go with backup and compress by clicking on the button and it will export my photos to my PC first so that nothing would get lost and then it will start compressing the photos to save a lot of space on my device. And this is done and I have saved 113 megabytes of space on my device. If you've used the option of compressing and delete it, then you need to take an extra step which is erase deleted photos. What this does, it will start by pressing scan and it will scan your device for all the deleted photos that you've just removed from your device and it will permanently Erase all the traces of that so that it cannot be recovered anyway after you give away your device. And once the scan is complete, I get the result with all the photos that I've previously deleted but can still be recovered. I need to get rid of all of these, so I will click on Erase now. And to be safe, I need to confirm my will by typing Delete in here. And then click on Erase now again. It will take some time to erase the, the photos. So let it run so that things would go safely and no data will be lost. And then you will get a confirmation after that. And after a few minutes, I get a confirmation that selected files have been erased thoroughly. And I have saved a lot of storage space using the iMyPhone UMate Pro. I hope you liked it.